As the country's healthcare capacity reached critical level due to the rising number of COVID-19 cases, doctors in some private hospitals are already experiencing over fatigue and have called in sick over the past few weeks. Some even have contracted the virus, which has resulted in understaffing. In the Philippine General Hospital and the National Kidney and Transplant Institute, some doctors have even resigned. More than anything, we need warm bodies, doctors, regardless of specialty to be able to, to man the post. Kasi napaka-importante po may nagbabantay sa pasyente. May tumitingin na doktor. So if we want to admit more patients, we have to make sure maaalagaan namin sila. Dito may COVID, of course, uh, may natatakot din na pinagre-resign ng kanilang pamilya. Um, at saka, pag nag-quarantine yan, di ba, bawas agad hindi kakayanin, maski na magdag, hindi lang a matter of space yan, di ba? We need the healthcare worker then to take care of the patients. According to Dr. Ron Jean Solante, head of the Adult Infectious Diseases and Tropical Medicine Department of San Lazaro Hospital, the situation right now is far worse than the surge they experienced earlier this year. An observation ko, this is the longest surge that we have. Uh, we started this na uh, medyo puno-puno na yung mga ICU namin second third week of July and until now puno pa rin so kaya nga it's 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 something na talagang uh, nakakapagod no compared nung last March after nung nag ECQ or MECQ ba yon uh, drastically bumaba ang kaso no since last third and fourth week of July hanggang ngayon punong-puno kami hindi na kami bumaba sa 130 Philippine College of Physicians President Dr. Maricar Limpin said doctors have been serving long hours at the hospitals due to soaring cases of infections. Aside from these, they are also experiencing emotional burden for not being able to accept new patients. Masasabi ko talaga na nakakapagod na. Uh, I think uh, yung mga kasamahan ko sa NKTI, sa San Lazaro, no, you've talked to them. And they, they would probably be feeling the same thing. No? Kasi pare-parehas kami ng experience. Based on the DOH data, 32 COVID-19 referral hospitals in the country have already reached 80% in bed occupancy. And if the increase in cases continues, the utilization rate could reach up to 100%. That could lead to the collapse of the country's healthcare system. Nina Armilio, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.